Reactive forms are one of the best choice to work with the forms in Angular application. There are so many things that we can do with the reactive form. Let's learn more deep things about the reactive form. And for that, in this video, we will learn how to get the reference of a particular field or the form control in the HTML code or in the component file. Here we are using this reactive form and this is the template for that form and this is the TS file. Okay, we are using this form group name. This one is the addbook form. This is a type of form group and inside this on init method, we are using this init form method and over here we have written the code to initialize our form. Now let's say I want to get the reference of a particular form control in this component, then how can I do that? Okay, so let's start the learning from this ng on init. To get the reference, there are a couple of ways. So first I can write this dot add book form and it is better to print what we have over here. So let's just use console.log and over here let's just display the value on the console of this add book form. Okay, so we are having this form group. In this form group, you will see there are so many properties and methods. This is the first one that is controls. In the controls, you will see we are having a list of all the controls. So we have added six controls over here and we have a list of all of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here is the author. The type is form control and all the properties that are associated with this form control is specific to this particular field, the second one author those are available over here there is one error as of now it is saying required is true so it is an error and we have not entered anything in this author and because of that the error is there if i will type something over there then you will notice that this error will be gone so let's start the learning again with the form group to get the instance of a particular control we can use this controls property and we can get any one of them from these controls let's put the controls like this just save all the changes and this time you will notice that we are having a list of all the controls if you want to work with any one of them let's say i want to work with this title this one then i can write title and this time you will notice we are having everything from the title what are the errors so there is one error of min length status change pristine true status is invalid so many things are there now this is the first way to get the instance of a particular form control let's try the second one so here also i will use the console.log so here this is a little bit short way i'm writing add book form and this time i will use one method that is called get and in this get i can pass the name of that particular control so let's say i want to work with the title that's it just save all the changes and go back to the browser let's put a semicolon over here okay this time on the browser you will notice that we are having two console messages the first one is coming from the first one and the second one is coming from that get method that we were using you will notice that there is no change in these ways you can use any one of them and now you will notice that we are having the instance of a particular control and now we can apply so many things over here on this form can I get the reference of a control on the HTML file? Yes, we can do that. Let's copy just this line. Go back to this HTML page and over here on the top, somewhere here, let's use this add book form dot get and let's just save the changes. Let's see what we have. We are having an object object and here let's use the value. Just save all the changes. Let's put a question mark here you will notice that we are having this value if i'm making any change in this form control you will notice that this is getting updated automatically so whatever i'm entering over here this value will get updated okay so instead of using this value if i'm using valid this one save the changes let's say what we have so we are having false it is saying that this form control is false what are the errors so for that let's use one more line and here i'm writing errors save the changes go back to the browser okay so this is saying object object let's use the json pipe save the changes the form control is false and what is the error error is of min length if i remove this value 
you will notice that the form control is still invalid we are getting this false value and the error is required so the required is true if i'm entering anything let's say this one the required is gone but you are having another error which is min length now you can see based on these properties valid errors and all of them we can apply so many things over here basically if you want to display the validation message over here then you can do that easily by using this approach in the template driven form we are getting the validity and the errors of a particular control by using that ng model but here because we are dealing with the reactive forms so we can do that easily by using this form control name and with that help we can get the reference of this proper form control and we can just work with our logic